Okay, you think you need your track chair? Well, let's go over some of the fine tuning parts and why you may have trouble using your track chair if you get one. All right, the difference in height is going to be one of your main factors for a lot of people. How are you going to get in this chair from one of these chairs? If you notice, this board is definitely at an angle. And this is the narrow track version. So I'm going to be at least 12 inches further away. I'd be 14 inches. Okay, you can see how it's lifted up at the moment. The foot plate, whenever she lets it down, you can see how steep it is. The heel of your foot will probably not touch the base. If it does, it's very uncomfortable. I'm not really sure what the design, uh, you know, what do you say about it? I'm really not sure. It cannot be changed besides going up and down. Uh, if you've got longer legs like me, it's going to be all the way down in its settings. Okay, one of my biggest complaints is, you know, the motors. Uh, I love to say that they're strong and powerful, but they only go so far. If you do two or three of these zero turns, it's going to go into the overheating mode on the joystick. It's going to slow down and it's potentially going to stop but uh, once you let them cool off for a while it kind of goes back to normal the little icon on the controller will stay on for only a little bit and then it goes away but as soon as you try to do uh, another little turn it's going to pop right back up so you're looking at anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes for the motors to cool down Another small downside to the design, but you know, it is what it is. Where these willy bars are, if you watch this small little tree, if you're at a gate or anything where it's got a hump and you're trying to make a pretty much a zero turn, it is very difficult to keep them from snagging and not making it to where the motor just stops. Go ahead and turn it just a little bit, sweetie. All right, see how the willy bars bump into that sideways? You're not, it's, if it pumps into something like a rock, you're, you're just not going to move. It's not going to turn the tread. It's just going to stop, and that's where it's going to be. So you're going to have to turn the other direction, and sometimes you can't turn the other direction, like sitting at a gate or something else. There's a, a gate up the hill from us right at the moment that every time I try to open it, there's a little bit of a hump right behind it that gets caught on those willy bars or actual big wheels and you, you just can't turn out of it so you gotta kind of wiggle out of it right here you do have a usb charging station so to speak or charging ports uh, they will charge any of your devices but the limited amount of battery does give you a limited amount of charge all right she's going to make a little turn over here where you can kind of see a little better and now she's going to go over towards the road okay there's no more grass there let's just say if you're going to be having a kid in that um, you may not have any yard left it does have tilt, so that is a great feature. When you're going uphill, you can kind of tilt it to forward to kind of even it out. When you're going downhill, you just tilt it back. If you do get one of these, I would highly suggest upgrading to the comfort seating. That makes a world of difference. Okay, one of the tricks that I did to get in and out of this thing yeah, I got a triangle right there, welded to the rod, and goes up there to a hoop, and I've got a hook right up into a truss to the ceiling, and it is removable, so I don't have to have that hanging there all the time, but that hook, that helps a lot. I'm going to show you another little thing that I did. 
going through light brush not a problem at all this is just grass as you can see no problem got the kid going through there and she don't mind it a bit chair don't mind it All right, as you can see, she's going to turn right here in the yard, and it rips up the yard. Okay, so if you do an actual zero turn, you're going to be tearing up a whole lot of yard really quick. It does have some good pockets on this particular order. I'll uh, always check your order and make sure what you're getting, you have uh, kind of a opposite effect on each side two little pockets and then one velcro pocket works great goes along good the overall thoughts of the action track chair series is basically very positive everything is made to last okay that that's one of the main things uh, it's a pretty much an all steel construction so that that is a very big plus um would i recommend this chair to somebody absolutely i would would i recommend this chair to everybody not everybody i would recommend this chair to anybody that can get in it and uh, use it uh, you're going to be limited on places that you can go um, make sure that if you're wanting to go inside or put it inside of a minivan that you get the NT model. That stands for narrow track. It's 28.5 inches wide versus 42. So if you get the, one of the 42s, you're not going to be able to make it through your front door. Um, hopefully if you do get one, it don't get stole being outside or you have a garage or somebody someplace to keep it um, as for all the other commercials and stuff it shows them going fast this goes more of a walking speed as you've seen uh, there, that's just part of it uh, it does make for a great chair to go bounding through the woods um, you do have a lot of limitations but it does go a lot further than any other chair i've ever been in so if you're going to be buying one of these and think you're going to use it on your own, make sure that you have the ability to do so. Now, as for everybody else, is it Cassidy approved? All right.